Karibu tena mtazamaji unazidi kutazama taarifa za mbio ya KTN siku ya leo. Hebu tuelekee maeneo ya pwani ambapo ni afueni kwa wakazi wa kaunti ya Kilifi baada ya kundi la wapasuaji kwa matibabu ya viungo vya ndani vya mwili kutumia shimo ndogo kuanza huduma kwa wanaoishi katika sehemu za mashinani kaunti hiyo. Madaktari hao kwa ushirikiano na hospitali ya Malindi Star wanafanya huduma hiyo ya siku tatu kama njia ya kuhudumia jamii na kuwasaidia wakenya wasiojiweza. Njia hiyo ya upasuaji na husisha upasuaji kwa shimo ndogo ambayo inatumika kwa kuingiza vifaa vya upasuaji vilivyo na uwezo wa kuiona ama kuviona viungo vyote vya sehemu inayotibiwa kwa kuvifanya vyo vikubwa. Progressive surgery because it's a keyhole, so we don't open the patient completely, and uh, it's what we call minimum invasive. We can be able to operate on the patient, and the patient goes home on the same day, and the patient can go back to work within one or two weeks. The Star Hospital is actually subsidizing this. It normally costs about 400 to 500 thousand when it's operated in a private hospital in Nairobi, but here it's being provided free as a cam. STAR has helped the community so as they can get access to this surgery. At the same time, the doctors from Nairobi, we are a big team, consultants. We also have some students who are learning from this program, and therefore there's benefit from all, for the society, the community, the consultants, and actually the students also who have an opportunity to learn. Now this modern technology, what we call laparoscopy, is actually minimal access surgery. Unlike the surgeries that we've been doing in the past where we make big incisions on the abdomen, for this particular surgery, we simply make tiny little holes on the abdomen and we insert specialized cameras and equipment and then we're able to magnify those images and operate using a, a large screen and we're able to see very fine details on the tissues and the surgery goes very well with minimal uh, complications and bleeding. Na mama taifa bi Margaret Kenyatta muda mfupi iliyopita amefungua shule ya wasichana ya msingi ya Shofko inayowashulikia wasichana wasiojiweza. Hebu tupate picha za awali. <tos> Na mtazamaji kiongozi wa upinzani Raila Odinga leo amekutana na kufanya mazungumzo wa, ya faraga na wanachama wa kundi la Gema kaunti ya Nairobi. Mtazamaji Raila Odinga aliandamana na wabunge wa ODM TJ Kajwang na Jared Okelo. Aidha Odinga hakuweza kuzungumza na wanahabari baada ya kikao hicho cha faraga kilichokuwa muda wa saa mbili. Mwenyekiti wa Gema County Nairobi Wilfred Kamau pamoja na wabunge Kajwang na Okelo walisema kwamba mkutano huo ulikuwa ni mojawapo ya mikakati ya kukuza amani na kuleta pamoja jamii za Kenya kufuatia mkataba wa amani kati ya Rais Uhuru Kenyatta na Raila Odinga. I never agree that very soon after the committee that has been given the mandate to spearhead the handshake to the grassroots 
that we shall get involved from the ward level to the constituency level up to the county levels of all the counties in the country. It is not an issue of the Kikuyu or the Gemma and the Luo. It's about building bridges across the country. And I can assure you that Right Honorable Boraila has committed himself to this course. Uh, when we talk about uh, uh, building bridges, we are not talking about politics of 2022. Uh, those who are concerned about transient and uh, retrogressive uh, uh, issues uh, that will come and go, they can co continue because Wanainchi will see them. We are talking about how we get a firm foundation for our future. We have reflected on the past. And now it is the time to build our future as one people. Sisi tukiwa huko mashinani hii hardship. Watu wa mashinani wako wanaelewa tukiwa gema ni, ni kitu gani. Sasa tukiwa huko mashinani wanatuuliza hii hardship ni ya kufanya nini. Sasa ndio tulikuwa tunataka kuja hapa tuongee na mheshimiwa Raila atuelezee hii hardship ilikuwa ya nini ndio si tukienda mashinani tuelezee watu wetu ndio waelewe. Na tukisalia siasani viongozi wa chama cha jubilii wa kiongozo na katibu mkuu wa chama hicho Rafael Tujo wamefanya mkutano kulena nyuki kujadiliana kuhusu mwelekeo wa chama hicho baada ya salamu ya Rais Uhuru Kenyatta Raila Odinga. Rakel Mugai alimehudhuria mkutano huo na kuzungumza na Rafael Tujo katibu mkuu wa chama cha jubilii. Asante kwako Nick na shukuru sana tuko hapa katika mkahawa wa Sportsman Arms katika county ya Laikipia mjini na Nyuki ambapo wanachama wa Jubilee chini ya uongozi wa katibu mkuu wao Rafael Tujo alikuwa akikutana labda tukujadiliana ni kipi ambacho wataweza kufanya kuweka mikakati kuona ni vipi wataweza kuendelea mbele kama chama cha Jubilee haswa baada ya upatano kati ya Raila Odinga na Rais Uhuru Kenyatta lakini hivi sasa nimeungwa naye uh, Rafael Tujo ambaye atatueleza um, mawili matatu kuhusiana na yale ambayo wameweza kujadiliana hapa katika mkutano huo. Asante sana uh, katibu mkuu Rafael Tuju. Tafadhali tueleze labda ni nini ambacho mmeweza kujadiliana, ni nini ambacho mmeweza kuweka mikakati katika mkutano huu mliokuwa nao? Uh, kwa kwa huu um, I can, let me just say in English so that I don't have to translate again. Um, we have come together essentially to ensure that um, we build the party and we just came through an electoral process that uh, our focus was on the elections. Uh, but now uh, we're going to have another four years in which the party must uh, have certain activities and we've come to define which activities we're going to prioritize. Uh, and also, we've had a lot of comments from people after the handshake between Raila Odinga and President Uhuru Kenyatta, but you as the Secretary General of the Jubilee Party, we've not been able to hear your stand. Probably what is it that you can say about it? The very day that um, uh, the President uh, shook hands with uh, the former Prime Minister Raila Odinga, I was on record of us having congratulated the President and congratulated uh, Right Honorable Raila Odinga for the action they took of shaking hands, because that's as it should be. We had a contest in an electoral process, but at the end of the day, we are brothers and sisters, we are Kenyans. And I believe, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, the Deputy President, uh, Honorable uh, Ruto, also uh, did congratulate the President and the former Prime Minister. So we are, to, we are on the same page as far as this matter is concerned. And also there have been calls by uh, NASA leaders or those in parliament asking for a referendum uh, of the, uh, probably to change the constitution. W what is your comment on that? Uh, at this particular moment in time, we are very, very focused on the things that we promised Kenyans uh, that will serve them and the things that we're most concerned about, especially, is jobs for young people like yourselves. And that's why the president has articulated the four pillars, which is industries that will be able to give us jobs, housing, which will create a lot of jobs as well, apart from enabling our people to live in dignity, um, the health, of course, and the food security. 
Those are our priorities at this particular moment in time. But of course, Kenyans are free to make suggestions what they want and what they don't want. And, you know, and we just have to respect the opinions of Kenyans. But as far as we're concerned, our focus is on those four pillars. And still on handshake matters, um, it has come out that some of the Jubilee leaders, especially from the Rift Valley region, are feeling left out and probably feel like uh, they'll be pushed aside following this handshake. Um, as the Secretary General, what is it that you're doing or what is it that you've put in, uh, put in place to ensure that everyone feels like they are part, they're still part of the Jubilee party? I think um, this could uh, be as a result of misunderstanding what... Uh, the handshake is all about. And I think the president has gone out and reassured everyone that uh, this handshake is about this country, is about uh, bringing down the political temperatures, because if the political temperatures are brought down, then we are able to concentrate on economic activities. And it is those economic activities that are going to solve the challenges of poverty and the challenges of unemployment uh, that we face in this country. So nobody should uh, feel in any way that this is uh, acting in any way against them. It is really for the good of this country. And what is good for this country is good for all politicians from all parts of the country. Uh, and finally, before I let you go, Mwishimiwa, um, you can also tell us... Uh, 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 you were appointed by President Uhuru Kenyatta to hold that position in the cabinet. Uh, what is it that you have so far done to enable other ministries do what they're mandated to do? What is it that you're planning to do to ensure that at least uh, Kenyans get to, to enjoy the benefits of these ministers who are appointed? Well, um, one of the things is that fortunately the people who have been appointed by the president are very capable in their own rights. Uh, my responsibility is a very humble responsibility. is just to uh, hold... Um, the colleagues that I have in, 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 in cabinet to ensure that uh, we are all reminded of the manifesto that took us to the offices that we have and to remind um, all of us at any given time I'm the focal point of ensuring that the manifesto is carried out. But uh, so far I can say that these are very capable people and we are all very switched on and we are all very focused on ensuring that we deliver on what we promised Kenyans. And especially we have focused on the four pillars. Asante sana. Thank you so much, Mwishimiwa. Um, uh, Nick Huyuni, um, Katibu Mkuu wa Chama cha Jubili, uh, Rafael Tuju. Wakituleza tu yale ambayo wameza kujadiliana hapa katika mkutano huu waliokuwa nao hapa mjini uh, nyanyuki. Na pia kituleza licha kuwa na ule msimamo wa bunge wa NASA wakitaka kuwa na labda marekebisho kwenye katiba. Anasema kuwa kila mkenya na haki ya kutaka tu kusema kila na chotaka. Lakini kufikia sasa watakuwa waki, waki, wakieka um, ile zile vitu ambavyo ungetaka kufanya kuwasaidia wa Kenya ikiwa ni the big four agenda kwa hivyo kufikia sasa watakuwa wakisema tu um, watakuwa wakitekeleza yale ambao walikuwa wamewaahidi wa Kenya haswa wakati wa uchaguzi uh, na pia wakiendeleza ku, wakiendelea tu kuwashukuru Raila Odinga na pia Rais Uhuru Kenyatta kuweza kupatanisha ama kuwa na uhusiano kati yao na kuweza kuendeleza nchi hii kando na zile siasa ambazo zilikuwa mwaka uliopita kwa konik Asante sana Rachel kwa hiyo taarifa bila shaka mkutano wa chama cha Jubilee maeneo ya Nanyuki. Wafungwa 30 kutoka magereza ya kaskazini mashariki mwa Kenya wameachiliwa huru chini ya mpango wa huduma kwa jamii unanuia kupunguza msongamano katika magereza nchini. Akizungumza katika gereza la Garissa Jaji John Onyego amesema kwamba ni nia ya idara ya mahakama kupunguza msongamano huo ili kuwasaidia watozo shuru na fedha zitakazotumika kwa kazi nyingine. Mpango huo ulianzishwa mwaka 1998 pia unanuia kuimarisha mtazamaji sekta nyingine na kupunguza mrundiko wa kesi mahakamani. Jaji Onyego amesema kwamba badala ya kuhimiza kesi baina ya familia mahakama zinafaa kuruhusu mbinu mbadala za kusikizwa na kuamuliwa kwa kesi hizo katika jamii baadhi ya wafungwa waliochiliwa huru wameahidi kubadili tabia zao katika jamii probation officer na shukuru na nashukuru sana kwa probation officer mahakama ina yote na shukuru sitarudia tena kwa hiyo makosa mara nyingine part of them are benefited today they will be released they will go back home they will perform part of their remaining sentence in rendering community service to the community while they will be joining their family, they will have their children, they will oversee their family affairs while at home. So it's a noble program that the judiciary really uh, 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 promotes.
and it's encouraging courts to utilize community service program more than imprisonment. Na wanawake wanaofanya biashara ya shanga katika kaunti ya Samburu wameitaka serikali ya kaunti na serikali kuu kuwatafutia soko za kazi zao. Pia wanatoa wito kwa serikali kuwasaidia kupata mikopo ili kuendeleza biashara zao na kuwataka wote wanaohusika katika hiyo biashara kuunda shanga za hali ya juu zilizo na mvuto kwa wateja. Serikali ya kaunti kupitia kwa naibu gavana Julius Leseto ameikaribisha hatua hiyo na kusema mpango mzima utasaidia pakubwa kuimarisha jamii. Mambo za bibi simenisomesha. Sasa hizi tumeshona hizi shanga kwa muda lakini shida ni ile atupati support. Kitambo tu alizim walikuwa kikujanga wanatupromote wananunua. Sasa hizi mambo ya insecurity sasa hizi imefanya hata tu alizim watufiki na tunakosa mali ya marketing. National government watusaidie kutafutia mahali ya kuuza shanga sababu kichanga yetu ndio imekuwa traditional ya wanakenya wote hii kikundi yetu ya cooperative tunachukua hiyo pesa yetu tuna, tunanunua naye shanga tunashona na tunasalisha pengine hata unachukua unalipia mtoto yako kare ya shule the county government has already set aside uh, uh, 10 million uh, shillings as a fund for the startup of uh, this Uchanga initiative so we'll go ahead uh, uh, in making sure that these women are engaged uh, fruitfully to make sure that uh, there will be a lot of changes in the community na mwanamume mmoja amejitoa hai kwa kujirusha ndani ya bwa moja kwa sababu ambazo hazijajulikana katika eneo la Kenmosa mjini Eldoret. Nadiwa kwamba jamaa huyu anaaminika kutoka katika mtaa wa Kepsoya alifika kwenye bwa hilo na kuvua nguo zake kabla yake kujirusha ndani ya bwa hilo. Mwili wa jamaa huyo umehifadhiwa katika chumba cha kuhifadhi Mighty Hospitali katika hospitali ya Moi Teaching and Referral Hospital mkuu wa polisi wa eneo la Eldoret Mashariki Richard Omanga amesema kwamba wali hata kitambulisho cha jamaa huyo karibu na nguo zake na wanaendelea na uchunguzi ili kubaini kilichosababisha jamaa huyo kujua these officers acted promptly and brought in the divers who have actually assisted us to ensure that the body has been retrieved i'm also uh, very much thankful to the members of the public who have been very much patient Marehemu aliamka leo saa kumi ya usiku ni kama akakuwa na shida ya kichwa akaanza kujiongelesha wakati wenye bibi yake akaita majirani wampeleke hospitali walipomshika wakamweka ndani ya gari gari ilipoenda ikaenda ikakoma pahali waliposhuka wasukume gari akatoka mbio alipotoka mbio kuanzia hapo tukakuwa tunamtafuta mpaka saa hii mpaka dakika hiyo tukaambiwa penye kitambulisho wake imepatikana na yeye alijirusha kwa maji na mtazamaji basi ikiwa ni saa kumi na moja kasoro dakika kumi hapo ndipo nafungia taarifa zetu za mbio ya KTN siku ya leo